I want to talk a little bit uh, here about this uh, book celebration. Uh, um, it's uh, Zumadi. It's actually Zumadi celebrating a book. Uh, it's a witchcraft book. Uh, they celebrating in uh, Burma. Burma is actually in Zumalia. The lady who actually translated the, the book, she's from uh, the, the Zumadi region uh, in Ethiopia. And so she translated the witchcraft book and she brought it to the Zumadis in Zumalia so that they can actually uh, use it. And so she's receiving a celebration for uh, the translation of the book from Arabic to Zumali. And so it's it's really yeah it, it I, I'm not making these things up. It's a it's a real celebration. They actually are celebrating this in uh, I think I don't know it's uh, the settings, but it's a huge setting where they celebrate basically books. And then they're telling you in the video for those. I'm gonna add the video for those who actually want to watch the video. And then so they're telling you actually she's being sponsored by the telecom companies, by the religious actually, uh, uh, the religious people, the, the the sheikhs. They have these organizations, these sheikhs, these um, they, they have these religious actually uh, uh, or groups uh, basically so sponsoring her. They got the universities. They got the uh, the university students there. So everyone is there basically i kid you know they're telling you that they, they, they listed the uh, this the, the list of the sponsors and the book is about black magic but they're telling you it's a legal black magic i kid you know that's what they say is like you know like the, the 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 label they have for you know they have these some kind of certifications for the food they tell you halal when they actually want to label something you know like legally you can eat it like kosher type of thing so they, she's like yeah, the book is like this is a uh, it's a witchcraft that is legal. Uh, she's like you can use it basically to actually uh, uh, yeah, change uh, people. I kid you not. That's what she's telling them. And so everyone is there and basically uh, uh, applauding her and uh, telling her she's, she's it's a great job she did. Uh, everyone saying okay, oh they 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 will buy the book. I kid you not. You get shakes. Uh, basically holding the book up and uh, and basically saying oh he's going they, they will buy it they will buy it. it's very it's a very important book to buy i kid you not and so they have all these people basically uh basically in there i uh, basically like say uh it's a really important book that and it was a, and it was about time that she translated it for us or something like that i talked about the muslim uh, witchcraft or sihr in in a video called the sihr ka sihr nimada din tislak where uh, where basically the, the the guy who was in some kind of an i think it was an arab it's an arab expert and he literally said that nobody knows these motherfuckers actually witchcraft it's unbelievable it's it's a crazy thing he says their fucking witchcraft is is so secretive that no fucking body knows what these motherfuckers actually do it's not like the jewish one or the, the kabbalah or the Solomon. even the Solomonic thing was actually written by the europeans but in any case so these motherfuckers when they talk about the the, the witchcraft they tell you there were these uh harud marud uh, who actually uh, angels who were in babylon and who were teaching they probably got it from the jews or something like that these these stories uh, and so they say that these angels were teaching uh, basically people uh, witchcraft and then they told the, the, the people this is a test don't use uh, basically this black magic and they also say uh, shaitan was also teaching his witchcraft and he uh, basically and uh, he took these two witchcraft and then taught basically black magic to the humans and they say okay we don't do black magic I kid you not that's what they tell you uh, officially but these motherfuckers do nothing but black magic i kid you not the whole fucking religion is based on these uh, on black magic i kid you not but the, the way that 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 guy was explaining it it was they basically formalized the black magic actually they want to use they can use and those that they actually uh, can learn but not use i kid you not so this is the game they play they play a very very uh demonic game i kid you not just to watch uh basically christian prince when actually uh he actually uh talks to these motherfuckers they play a game they play a mind game with people and so in order to actually achieve the highest level of sainthood among these motherfuckers you have to do black magic especially the fucking jinn these fucking shadowy fucking demonic motherfucking uh jinn magic that's what that sudanese guys were saying he was in order to achieve the level the highest level of sainthood you have to do this fucking uh black magic 
and talk to these fucking jinn demons. And so this is what they actually do. In the book she says they use this black magic to actually make people fall in love with them. And like in that video where you see that Zumadi basically TV anchor in Minnesota doing that basically witchcraft to the guy. They basically take over your mind. They, they shut down your basically consciousness and the jinn takes over. I kid you not. This is what the, what's called the, the jinn al or the, it's, it's some kind of a jinn succubus or an incubus that they attach to you. And basically, it basically flips your mind, your consciousness, and makes you basically attached. It makes you attached to someone or something. I kid you not. And so this is the same basically witchcraft they use for Allah. I, I'm not making these things up. I kid you not. This is the same fucking witchcraft that they use to actually take over a motherfucker's mind and then attach some kind of a, a Middle Eastern jinn parasite. And that parasite is going to make you fall in love with Allah, that big ass fucking demon motherfucker they worship in the Kaaba. I kid you not. It's a religion basically that spreads these Middle Eastern jinn parasites to recruit to recruit for Allah and they can remove these motherfuckers so when they mother so they have these I kid you not they have two motherfuckers they have a jinn that basically will trigger you and fear that causes the fear and then they, there's the one that causes the, the the basically the love or the the basically the fall in love type of thing so when they actually send these terrorist motherfuckers to blow themselves up it's that motherfucker who's gonna actually emanate that fucking love. I kid you not. It's like some kind of a kundalini type of fucking thing that is gonna jack up the motherfucker. And that motherfucker will have some kind of a bliss and will be ready to basically blow themselves up in a mosque or somewhere or kill everybody. And so with, but when they wanna recruit the other motherfuckers, then they will basically jack up that fear motherfucker. And so they will pump into you the fear of Allah, the fear of death, the fear of hell, all these fucking Middle Eastern fucking parasitic fucking uh, things that they actually pump in people. And then they will recruit you for Allah. I kid you not. And once they attach their fucking Middle Eastern parasite, it is very, very difficult to remove. I kid you not. It's some sort of fucking alien implant that they fucking brought from somewhere, some fucking Anunnaki implant, whatever the fuck it is. It is very difficult to remove. I kid you not. It, they've been spreading these fucking parasites since they came over. People said that these motherfuckers came over from the Middle East, from Hadr al Mud, that fucking dead place. And then they basically shape shifted into humans. And these motherfuckers was carrying, they said, there's some kind of a fucking Middle Eastern fucking parasites. And they basically spread the, the parasite in the land. Till now, the sheikhs say that this, the, the whole fucking place is infected with some kind of a Middle Eastern and nasty fucking uh, parasitic fucking gene called Hongroof or something like that. It's some kind of a, a, a rotten fucking, some kind of, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a Middle Eastern fucking parasite that they brought from and then they spread in basically in the land. And people, everyone is infected. I kid you not. It's the only place on this planet where people, you can see people like in stadiums, like full of, it's not even in stadiums, it's, it's in the open basically uh, markets. A lot of people basically are infected. And nobody knows actually who is spreading these fucking Middle Eastern parasites. I kid you not. But the motherfuckers, if you talk to the motherfucker who know this thing, they tell you, it's, they look like normal human beings, but these motherfuckers are half jinn or basically full-blown jinn. And they basically spread these motherfucking parasites. I kid you not. They tell you they look like normal sheikh. Uh, it's a sheikh. He speaks Zumadi. Uh, and he's, he's got kids. He's got basically families. Just like they tell you the jinns have families. They have tribes. That's what they tell you. And many of these motherfuckers are basically spreading these Middle Eastern parasites and infecting the entire fucking land. But they will tell you it's not they who are spreading these fucking parasites. It's the Oromo or the Bantu. I kid you not. That's what they say. It's the Bantu voodoo uh, that's actually uh, infecting us or the Oromo uh, or the Habashi Zara or something like that. It's a crazy thing.